Don Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. You're taking a look at your Bowie County equipment, Tower Cam in DeKalb, Texas. And you can see the clouds are increasing there as well. And we will see clouds build in overnight, but we may see a little sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, high temperatures since midnight, mostly in the middle 80s, with the exception of Idabel, 82 degrees. As we go into Texarkana, 85, 86 in Shreveport, a pair of 85s in Marshall and in Mansfield, with 80 degrees as we head into Magnolia. It has been a warm and windy day. And by the way, until 7 p.m., there is a wind advisory in effect for southeast Oklahoma, most of northeast Texas, including Ashdown and Texarkana in southwest Arkansas, uh, we do have for uh, Caddo and Bossier and DeSoto parishes. This expires at 7 o'clock, but right now winds are gusting up to around 20 to 30 miles an hour. I was quite surprised at the wind earlier today. Uh, wind speeds right now are about 15, 16 miles an hour, uh, 16 in Shreveport, six, uh, 15 in Texarkana and in Idabel. Uh, the lowest wind speed right now is down towards Manny and 23 miles an hour as you go into Magnolia. Wow, gusting, you bet. And we've got clouds building into the area, continue to build in through 10 o'clock this evening according to your Robbins Toyota Futurecast. And we will see southwesterly to south winds across much of the area. As we go into the nighttime hours, that wind is still going to stay up, and tomorrow morning we're still going to have clouds and maybe a little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. But Sunday, 7 p.m., we still have that good southerly flow. We're going to see moisture increasing, doubling, and tripling <laughs> as we go into the first of the week. As we head on over to Monday, at noon. There are two cold fronts heading uh, our way. One's in the Pacific Northwest. One is in the mountains of uh, the Rockies. It'll be ejecting out into the Plain States by noon tomorrow. Just a few showers ahead of it for the day. But by afternoon, we do see some showers developing across much of the area, 7 p.m and some showers and thunderstorms developing right along the front in the northwestern parts of the Arklatex. Now, Futurecast is saying this is going to move out faster than I think it will. So bear that in mind. This rain may last a little bit longer. Now it says uh, Tuesday midnight. Yes, we will see showers and thunderstorms, but not expecting right now severe weather. As we move on to about 7 a.m., I think the front is going to linger right in this area a little bit longer and move to the east. But we will have overrunning showers back behind it as we go through your Tuesday. And then mm -mm, it's just all high pressure building in. Skies will clear. In fact, as we go into Wednesday at 1 o'clock, high pressure will be almost right on top of us. Very strong northerly winds will bring those temperatures down. So how far down will they go and how much rainfall could we potentially get? Two to three inches across extreme northern parts of the Arklatex and the rest of the area probably one to two inches. That is from the Weather Prediction Center who deals with most of the rainfall and this is how it shapes up. Sunday should be Mostly cloudy in the morning, some sunshine coming through in the afternoon. 87 after a low of 65, 68 and 82 with a 40% chance of rain. Goes to a 90% chance of showers overnight and lingering 60% chance of a few showers as we go into your Tuesday. 66 for a high, we drop into the 40s, but warm back up in the afternoons with a north wind. And as we go into the weekend, take a look at it. We have another chance of rain by Friday into Saturday. Hallelujah.